pies, to pick up pies. And uh, I bring a, like a pineapple pie back. It just and kills me, I can't think of that name. When, it was special. When I got back with the pie, she'd cut me a piece of the pie, and I, that was my reward for what pineapple I Pineapple pie. pie. Oh. Pineapple pie, yeah. Oh. yeah. Huh. Back then. Have you ever had pineapple pie? Yeah. Never had? Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's pretty interesting. There's Mrs. O'Toole and Mrs. Letty. Uh, those are two of my good customers. Uh, yeah. Nice ladies. And the Beemans. The Beemans lived when I was on St. Paul Street across the street from us. And they had a tourist business there, a tourist house. And I used to do errands for them. There were some nice houses on St. Paul Street as, as you went further out towards South Carolina. When we were kids getting back to when I was small, the world was so different. We never ever heard of uh, being kidnapped, arrested. People never worried about their children. Today, uh, from the time we were seven years old, you could go anywhere without know, telling your mother where you're going. Go down the beach, for example. Spend the day at the beach. Uh, and they would depend upon you to come home at night for dinner. Did you ever out. get in trouble for coming home too late? Yeah. And it was very common at night. Uh, uh, at night time, uh, six o'clock at night, I assume that was the hour of the calling. You know. uh, oh, you'd hear the mother start to call? Yeah, the mother call. Richard! Really? Harry! Arthur! You know, the, come home for dinner, you know. I used to hear that in, in the um, evening. Smith Meadow. Meadow. Yeah. Yes. Richie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Skippy-o. Skippy yeah. 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 No one does that today. No. No, it would be considered. Uh, I just call the cat. Hello, yeah. Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a, a big uh, gray cat, female cat, we knew. And we, well, my mother used to get. Uh, That's sort of a, a French word. I don't know if it was a colloquialism for cat, because cat is shot. Right. C H A T. But Minou. Uh, like a nickname for a cat? No, it was like, uh, yeah, but it meant cat in a like, way, didn't like it? Kitty it was or probably, uh, yeah, Minou, Minou. Yeah. That's how they would call the cat. Minou, Minou, Minou. But. It was a common name. It just wasn't one cat, you know. It was, uh, and all the cats were supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> That menu meant it's time to come in. You know, my, my uncle uh, had a grocery store on Heaven Street, and we bought all our grocery there. And he started uh, probably around 1900 with a push cart on the street, and he would sell meats from push carts. Nobody had a... Uh, where did he get the meat from? Well, some packing house. I don't know where it would come from. Mm -hmm. But nobody had electric uh, refrigerators. They weren't invented then. You had an ice box. They had an ice box. And it was carved out with ice yeah. in it. And there was an it's ice cabinet. truck that would come around and the hooks would go in and they put a big block of block ice. Of ice yeah. How often did you get it? He would come around every other day. The know, ice truck the Yeah. So was there sort of a tray under your ice box that collected the water? A, it was not, no. Well, I don't know how Ice chest happened. was on the top, okay? Uh, that's well, where you kept the ice. And then there water. were drawers on the bottom, okay? Where you put the food in, your milk and different stuff. But where did the And then there was a drain go? pipe oh. on the back that would drain the, the water from the ice chest on the top into a pan down below, oh. which would throw out after. Uh, mm -hmm. But we used to follow that ice truck in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, and try uh, to get a chip of ice off of it. Could I have a piece of ice? Yeah. You know, it was, could I have a piece of ice? Now the ice... I would see kids do it. I didn't do much of that, but I have yeah. seen it. The ice yeah. came from Lake Champlain, you know. 
They were there they in the wintertime. They took chocolate out of oh, the lake. Oh, yeah. the ice house. Well, the yeah. restaurant yeah. was named right. after. Yeah. It yeah. was an yeah. ice yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. That building they was would, the ice house. They would go out in the, in the, in the middle of the lake yeah. when the ice was uh, 18 inches thick. Uh, and they used to be out there and they saw the ice into blocks. And they load the ice in, uh, into uh, wagons that were drawn by horse. Back in, that and they stored it into the ice house. Pardon me? Wouldn't you think that ice would have been contaminated just out of the Probably lake? Was. But of course, yeah, we would, kids would suck on but it. They, they, but it went into ice boxes. It just went, it to went, keep the food cool. Right. It, it was, they would go pretty far out to, to get the ice, you know. Right. And of course, there was a, a sewage drainage system in Lake Champlain from Burlington. The sewage went right into the lake? Yes. Yeah. Directly into it. Down at the foot of uh, King Street. Yeah. Wasn't that a problem with kids uh, playing in the water? They would check, test the well, water at the beach because they, they would they say used sometimes to be. such and such a beach is closed. Oh, they would? Even when you were little? They would do that? Used, yeah, used I remember hearing pier. that North Beach is closed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or South Beach. Yeah, there used to be a pier uh, separating the beach uh, from the industrial part of, of the harbor in Burlington. We used to go swimming there all the time. Now, uh, yeah, there was uh, raw sewage that was dumped in the lake at that time. But then, later on, what they did is they connected a, a large drain pipe from the shore that went out a mile or a mile and a half out into the lake, uh, down the bottom of Lake Champlain, where all that stuff was deposited, until progress brought about the uh, waste disposal systems. It had a sewage treatment system. It's not dumped in the lake anymore, but probably around 1940 or so, uh, they became more uh, sophisticated, sanitary. sanitary, conscious, and so forth. And, uh, they adopted a, a, a more uh, sanitary system. But uh, yeah, the ice truck would come by and. Uh, it was fun to chase the truck and get some ice. Sometimes races. when Kirk Douglas talks about his past and his father being a the rag, rag man, man yeah. there was such a we thing had a rag in man. Burlington yeah. when yeah. we were growing up. And the rag man uh, usually was a Jewish man, you know, with a beard and a black hat. And that's what I thought Jews were. He had a burlap know. bag. Well, what he would, would he do with the rags? He would, he, he, he would, he would give you, you come to him with a rag that would be thrown out, worn out, you know. I just this rag man. Uh, and uh, you, you you bring the rag to him, and it, he'd look at it, and uh, he'd, he'd weigh it, and you, two cents or one cent. Did you ever bring any to yeah. the rag man? Yeah. You did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder what he did with them. I wonder. Maybe I they sold them in bulk. Reprocessed uh, or? for some use or other. Yeah. Hmm. Then we had the ice cream truck. And, that, and the vegetable man, too, would come yeah. around with the car, yeah, right. you know? Banana, bananas, Banana you know? So you had a lot of activity on the street. Oh, oh sure. yeah, people, but were, people didn't oh, sure. have cars, yeah. but, you know, all these trucks. This is a very, yeah. very early childhood. Yeah. Yeah. They would come, what, what, uh, one way like, Horse drawn like, ever? <coughs> oh, always. Most of them, yeah. Uh, Most, yeah. <coughs> the, uh, and the, the ice cream. man came by walking. Ice cream wagon. Big leather bag. Ice cream wagon, especially designed. Uh, it was an ice cream wagon, uh, and it was horse drawn, and uh, it was very colorful. You know. and they come down the street, and he'd ring the bell. You know, all the kids would run around. I don't remember that. Are they, you? Oh yeah. Really? And when you were young, an ice cream oh, truck. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Oh yeah. yeah. I thought you had to go to a store, and there weren't that many stores that had ice cream. Well, the stores didn't have ice cream. Are you thinking cream. of East Meadow when they uh, rang the bell? Uh, ice cream. Uh, it commercialized the ice cream business to such a point where I think it was in maybe the early 30s that they developed ice cream, what they call Twinkies. It was a cone, paper cone. You probably see those. That ice cream was in there, and they would take that and you would unwrap it and put it in a sugar cone, you know. That was your ice cream cone. It wasn't and different. It was shaped to figure it to it Pre frozen into a cone shape. Oh really? Yeah. So it you know came a little paper cups from the cone. 
you see the little paper cups with a point on the bottom? Yes, like a yeah. Dixie cup. Yeah, Dixie cup, yeah. And, and you unwrap it and you stick it in a cone. Right. Yeah, yeah, it fits. Yeah. The, yeah. the size of, you they know, you can buy sugar today that come to it. I wonder why they don't do that now. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. Yeah. To fit it right in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. Tell that one to Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go backwards. Yeah. yeah. So that was fun, fun things. Mom, um, tell me about how you used to uh, get to boarding school. By car. By car? By car, yeah. Uh, at first, when my father died, my mother didn't have a car, but uh, first there was Mr. Perkins, who was a very good friend of my father's, and perhaps old enough to be my father's father. But he used to train at my father's gasoline station, that's how they became friendly. Had he ever been married? Mr. Perkins, yes, and he was divorced. And he had two, three daughters or something, I don't know if he had any sons. And he was in horses. He had owned horses. You know where we went horseback riding? Mm -hmm. He had at one time owned a horse farm, I think. And that was after he was, uh, he rode horses in the, uh, what do you call those little carts? The series, the, uh, trotters? The uh, racing things? Yeah, with the, with the, uh, you know, the, uh, things that they hung on to, the, uh, the leather straps yeah. that they had, and a horse. You mean he the would race them? He, yeah, he was a race. It was a trotter. The trotter. trotters? Yeah. There's another name for it, like Surrey or something like that. But well, anyway, then he was as in he horses, got older, your, your grandfather was a blacksmith. Was he? I didn't even know that. Pierre Gay? Uh, on what P side? Peter Gay. Oh, Pete Gay. Oh, my grandmother's husband, the first one. Peter Gay. Yes. Yeah. Because then she married your, again when your, he um, died. Wait a minute. This is your... Mamie um, Goodyear. Mamie Goodyear. My father's father, probably. Your father's... My father's father must have been Latourno. Which one am I thinking of? This is your... Um, Mamie Goodyear's Maybe father. Maybe her father. Was a blacksmith. Was a blacksmith. Yeah. I wonder if there was a connection there. I don't know. Oh, no. Mr. Perkins wasn't even related to us. Well, I mean, if they knew no, he was a friend of my father's. He used to train okay. at my father's gasoline station. And he knew my mother because she used to do the books. And he helped her quite a bit after my father died to uh, <coughs> learn about business. He uh, taught her a lot of things about how to buy a house and to make apartments out of it and all of that, the business ends of it. But uh, he had a, an old, I don't know if it was a Model T or what it was, but it had a little running board. It was a little Ford. And two seater? Uh, no, four seater. Because we used to sit in the back, the kids. Nelson didn't stay at first. He was too young, but Raymond and I. And Nelson must have been with us too. And Mr. Perkins would drive and my mother and we had these big black trunks. They put them I don't know where they put those things. Mm. They must have been under our feet in the back or something. But we'd go off to school for, for the year, and all our clothes for the year were in there in this big black car. And uh, it was like 60 miles, and you just rode in the car, and you talked less and less as you approached the school, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but then yeah. after that, we used to take the train. There was a railroad that ran right into Burlington to Champlain. Oh, really? That's oh, pretty yeah. good. Oh, pretty yeah. Good. We used to come home, when we came home more often, you know, like Easter. How long was that train ride? Gee, I don't remember. How long would that have been? Oh, an hour? Would have been longer train ride, because they stopped at every little... See, I'm not, not familiar with You're that. not familiar with the train? Because the train, it would have to go south from Burlington down to uh, Essex. Mm -hmm. uh, cross over to New York State and then go up on New York State. Maybe side. that's what they did. Uh, that would take one then. No. No. Well, whatever. So uh, later when there was no car, we would take the train and it became more frequent. you turn it off, on? Huh? No, I didn't. But I will. Let me help you. Yeah. We'll give you